got a cool one to show you. This is going to my buddy Kevin. This will be, I think, build number 13 for him. He just won this uh, last night off the page. So congrats, buddy. Going over your watch. We've got a World War I propeller build. Uh, this is an actual brass dial. Uh, I did it in an antique bronze Cerakoted uh, 110 case and then went back and uh, aged the uh, the brass and then sanded it. Um, so the aging uh, was sanded off on the raised areas and just stayed down into uh, the older areas. So, um, or the lower etched out areas. I went through and pipped it, which of course I always take my flashlight out of here uh, right before I do the video so that it makes it hard for me to actually show off anything. Uh, I have like seven of them, but I always just make sure to take all seven of them out uh, right beforehand. So um, went back through, pipped it, then we did a gold handset here with a hand painted uh, black seconds hand, gold PVD coin bezel, and then we've got our black minute insert with gold accents. And then it's gonna be kind of hard to see. Um, you've got your black uh, Komandersky style military engraved crown here. We've got a large window exhibition case back in there, which, um, you know what I might do, buddy? I might go ahead and just swap that to like one of my, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and swap that to one of my lower profile. And the reason that is, is so you've got your set screws here, right? Which will slide back and forth and it would just, eh, I don't know. I don't think it throws it off that much. I don't know. I might throw a, sm a, a small, a lower profile exhibition case back back there. Uh, but this is a canvas and leather Italian, I'm sorry, canvas and Italian leather strap, uh, integrated bun strap um, with an actual brass bezel on it. Um, so actual brass uh, bezel, I'm sorry, actual brass uh, buckle and dial. Um, and then what I was trying to get at was uh, stainless steel movement holder in there. I believe there's a black rotor on that. And then you've got your large window exhibition case back. I'll put one of my low profiles on there. Give it a little bit of a, throw the uh, spacing off just a little bit. Clear it up just a hair. And uh, and see how that goes. So that's your build, man. As always, with every build, I make the... Um... Okay, Google, volume at 9%. I think that's what's throwing me off. Just so much loud music in my ear. Um, I set the tension ring on these uh, to where they're a little bit tight to turn. So you can turn it left, you can turn it right. Um, these are just held on with a tension ring. Um, that is where uh, the tightness of it is. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not very active, you want to pre-wind it just a little bit. So you're going to back the crown off the threads until you hear it clicking and feel a little bit of play there. At that point, you can wind it. And a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it backwards doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to just go back and forth on your winds. Um, if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time. If you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out your 31 plus hour power reserve, which is what I do to make sure they're running the next day. Uh, you cannot overwind it. When you pull it to the one and only click, you can then set your time. You're going to feel you've got a wobble crown. It's going to deflect lateral pressure from going into the movement through the stem, putting any kind of adverse pressure on the movement. Um, if you don't, if, uh, so if you're pushing and pulling on it, you're going to feel that roll. If you just kind of pull it straight back, you won't even feel it. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 2.41 p.m. It is 2.41 p.m. Just push it right back over. And thread it down. There is your build, good sir. I appreciate you a ton for jumping in on it. I'm going to swap that case back out on there. Uh, just so we'll have a little bit of a lower rise to it. As with every build, matching beads. This one's going to have a matching uh, propeller box. 
And then as with every build, you're gonna have wash cleaners is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center. Uh, so leather conditioners is good to keep this leather strap perfectly soft, apply a tiny bit, let it soak in, uh, move it around a little bit, um, and that will keep it soft and pliable. And then lastly, some Novus 2 from Amazon repackaged. Uh, this is essentially like Poly Watch. This comes um, from Amazon in these larger containers, and we just put it into these. Um, this is a scratch remover. You can scratch this acrylic glass, but if you do, just put a tiny bit on it. Buff against the scratch, filling the scratch using your included microfiber. And generate some heat with your thumb, and about 15 seconds later, you will completely buff that uh, scratch out of there. So that is your build, man. All Cerakote. So you got a Cerakote antique bronze uh, case, uh, gold PVD, uh, tall coin bezel, and you've got a black Cerakote crown. And then your uh, buckle is actual brass, your dial is actual brass. So, um, so yeah, buddy, I appreciate you a ton, man. Congrats once again on the win. And uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.